So this week, one of the big uh, initiatives that I reported on was the result of our Go Time initiative. We had a goal of $150 million of savings in the first year. We actually exceeded that. We had over $156 million in savings. And we did that throughout the Commonwealth. Uh, every agency and, and department contributed. Uh, I stood with employees uh, on uh, Monday in the Capitol Rotunda to announce this. And it's a really big deal because this is part of what we have to do. I have a $500 million goal to reach $500 million total savings by the year 2020, and I think we're going to do it. This week I visited two uh, businesses, BrandYourself.com in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, and FedEx in uh, the Lehigh Valley. And both uh, organizations benefited from the, the Commonwealth helping them come to Pennsylvania. But more than that, they were attracted by the quality of life in Pennsylvania, the business climate, uh, the talent uh, that exists here. They love Pennsylvania, and it was refreshing, reaffirming to, to visit with them and, and learn about uh, how many good things they saw in Pennsylvania. This week uh, also uh, spent time focused on the opioid crisis and went to visit four centers of excellence. As you know, uh, I got $15 million in the budget, which leveraged another $5.4 million from the feds. We opened 20 centers of excellence, and between now and the end of January, we hope to open uh, more centers of excellence, which will help people navigate their way through the uh, uh, the healthcare system uh, to treat the substance use disorder that they're suffering from. This is a bipartisan thing. Republicans and Democrats, senators and, Repu and representatives are supportive of this and I know we're going to do a great thing in the special session coming up later this year. Mm -hmm.